Hello, I'm Zoe Bridewell from Napier Hawke's Bay. This is my video reflection talking about the activities that I provide for my students and staff using the 21st century skills. So as part of this reflection we were asked to relate our reflection to one of the uh, um, 21st century skills, one of the parts of the rubric. So I chose to think about the use of ICT for learning are students passive consumers of ICT, active users or designers of an ICT product for an authentic audience? We have six classes with one-to-one -one iPads from Year 3 to Year 6. We use an app called Shobi. It's a really good management tool as far as setting work and seeing what the kids have done. So within the Shobi app, uh, you can see on the left-hand side over here um, that... These are all the classes that we have at school. So each teacher has their own class, which they manage. Um, I'm actually the administrator, which is what myself and the principal, we can see everyone else's class too. It's just a way of monitoring what's going on. Um, <clears throat> so each teacher assigns assignments and, and decides how they want to use it. Anyway, it's very open. Um, within my own class, you can see down here that I've got a bunch of things in there. I always have my timetable in there so the kids know what's going on resources, I have a link to my class blog which is a whole lot of resources and stuff that the kids can use too. Um, in the paper clips down here show me when a kid has posted something that I need to check. The little red back arrow over here shows that I've given feedback on some of those things. So it's a really quite an easy way of seeing who has posted stuff and what I need to check. Within each of the things that I set for them, it comes up with my class list of kids. The paperclip again shows that the, someone has posted something. I haven't given feedback on this. This is relatively new. Um, if I click on the child's name, it opens to what they've done. I can see it straight away. So this is an example of an assignment that I've set for kids. Um, you can see down the side here the paperclip show me that the kids have done something. Um, I can add um, links and resources that they can use on their own iPad. So there's just some of the apps we use in class. And coming back to the question at the beginning, are my students passive consumers or active users and designers? When looking at the ICT rubric, I'd rate myself in my class at about at a level four, um, <coughs> uh, which says that students use ICT to support knowledge construction and the ICT is required for constructing this knowledge. My next steps are to get my kids to uh, create an IC product, ICT product for authentic users um, and so that's something I need to look into developing my own skills in in order to be able to help my students to achieve success in that area too.